T is one of the greatest moments in modern soul history. The first few seconds when all Yon Houghton, then only a 15-year-old newcomer, opens her cover of the Isley Brothers at your best you are love with a few seconds of a cappella brilliance. Let me know, let me know, she sings with grace, before offering a wordless cry with incandescent softness. Back in 1994, all Yaw's career-defining interpretation topped out at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100, but that was due to radio programmers and Bet's video soul sting R. Kelly's Gangsta Child remix, which relied on a bass-heavy G-funk beat and an alternate vocal from All Yaw that's more restrained than the version on her debut, Page Ain't Nothing But a Number. But from its release, the LP version drew a cult following. First through constant airplay on the late night mix shows that still populate black radio, and then through samples and homages like Drake's Unforgettable and Frank Ocean's rendition for his recent visual album Endless. Like so much of all Yaw's career, at your best you are love didn't seem revolutionary at the time of its release. She emerged from the world of black pop and a part of the music industry that sold plenty of records. All three of her albums are certified multi-platinum, but didn't draw much serious critical attention until just before her tragic death at the age of 22 on August 25, 2001. In retrospect, however, Olya is widely recognized as one of her generation's biggest innovators. One. All Yaw was mysterious on the cover of Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. All Yaw was clad in black sunglasses. She often presented herself as an enigmatic figure, and even when she began abandoning those shades in publicity photos and videos, she styled her hair so that hung over one of her eyes like a mask. In interviews, she declined to reveal aspects of her private life which is understandable in light of R. Kelly's marriage to her when she was underage, the details of which she never publicly acknowledged during her lifetime. More abstractly, all Yaw emanated a remarkably cool distance that only drew us closer. Artists like The Weeknd and Zoo would take this farther to the point of anonymity. 2. All Yaw brought the teen girl's voice back to R&B when All Yaw dropped her first hit, Back and Forth, new Jill Swing ensembles like Then Vogue, Escape and SWV dominated the R&B charts. With her baggy jeans, oversized sports jerseys and lyrics about partying on Friday night and chilling with the homies. The high school aged All Yaw was a part of this era as much as any other but as a solo artist who appealed to a younger audience, and in contrast to older devious like Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey and Tony Braxton, she stood out. And let's not forget Mary J. Bleach who, at 22 years old, was already considered the queen of hip-hop soul. In the years to come, other solo R&B homegirls like Brandy and Monica would emerge, hastening the slope lamentable decline of girl groups to the point that, today, they're virtually non-existent. 3. Her absence between albums only deepened her appeal All Yaw only recorded three albums during her life. She released music sparingly, but when she did, she spoke with impact. When she broke with R. Kelly after his scandalous and predatory marriage became public, she found new collaborators in production team Timbaland and the Sea Elliot, resulting in One in a Million, which was arguably more dynamic and groundbreaking than her debut. Five years later, just as the jiggy, jittering R&B of that album was becoming a cliché, she returned with her final album, All Yacht. Its impressive range, from the summary sun-kissed groove of rock the boat to the coagulated electronic rock of what if, still sounds fresh over a decade later. 
much as a lifter like Beyonce would soon learn. Alia knew how to wait and study Black Pop's subtle changes, and then get there first before anyone else. For she made Timbaland and the Sea Elliot official every R&B fan alive and kicking in 1996 remembers then they first heard Jim Newwine's Pony. It's odd interplay of vocal percussion, whistles, and a sludgy yet swinging beat sounded like nothing we had heard before. Timbaland's who made the track along with the late songwriter Static Major stylistic works could have been dismissed as a novelty gimmick with a short shelf life. See Rich Harrison's fusion of go-go and brassy hip-hop, which quickly lost steam after a few classic singles like Beyonce's Crazy in Love. But when Timberland and the Sea Elliot brought the same kitchen sink aesthetic to all yaws if your girl only knew, which appeared just weeks after Pony, we realized that their revolution was here to stay.